Here we go. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there you see Joe Bronson making his way to the ring. Of course, Joe Bronson, we saw make his debut last month at the uh, Kill 'em All event. He was on the losing end, but right now, Joe Bronson looking to get his first victory here in FSW. Joe Absolutely. Bronson probably snuck his way uh, onto the LIRR to get here. Uh, Mr. Bronson, quite a menacing figure, quite a large individual, and uh, we'll see this. Uh, this seems to be a uh, quite a good match here, a five-star match of Fighting Spirit Wrestling. Everybody named Bronson is tough. We've got these newcomers here, Mr. Jace. We saw these newcomers attempt to evade Fighting Spirit Wrestling last time. They were not successful, as it were. But tonight we saw a much different thing. Uh, under the guidance or under whatever you want to call it of Mr. Stack though, uh, I'm quite nervous here. I, I'm quite uh, afraid that uh, well, I'll be investigated as not being a proper naturalized citizen and uh, I think Mr. Stockpo perhaps has it in for me and in for all of us as it were. Well, it's don't right. worry about Except it, Wesley. Except for Mr. Taranko. I mean, you can you always know, marry my poodle. I, I think you'll be fine. I think you just talk to Stackpole, as much of a jerk as the man may be, he recognizes that we need a good British presence here, and you're him. Absolutely, it's always good to have a British presence, as uh, many countries in the world have passed, uh, the British presence in the world. Number one, John Silver! And of course, there's number one, John Silver. That We saw him also make his FS debut, FSW debut at the last event. Absolutely, Mr. Silver, quite a character in the ring. We saw the power, and we'll see him uh, up against uh, everyone here tonight, as we have a five-star match every man for himself. Mr. Joe Bronson in the ring uh, with Mr. Silver. Now, Silver is well put together, but Bronson's a monster. He's walking around the ring, scaring the crap out of all these fans. You know, I believe uh, Mr. Maxwell Jacob Feinstein will be involved in this match as it were tonight as well. I have a, have a hunch about that. And ladies and gentlemen, usually we have the card in front of us. It's all changed tonight. Mr. Stockpole has taken control of Fighting Spirit Wrestling. We don't know exactly what the card will be. So we're, we're playing it by ear as it were. Wall Street wins the stack of 1099 CPA. Well, CPA, of course, the man who loves to do taxes. Not doing mine. Well, I spoke to this gentleman and uh, he told me he helped me out with my taxes, uh, as it were. I think Leon Mason's doing my taxes this year. I think Leon Mason would just slam a tax form through a table. That's okay. I, I like how that works out for me. Absolutely, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, look at that. Helen from Street out of Compton. We're receiving an IQ of 151. Francis Kipling Stevens. There he is, ladies and gentlemen, the nerd. We saw the nerd in action last time. The last event here, Fighting Spirit Wrestling, and uh, quite a crafty individual. Yeah, one tough nerd is that man. And I like his socks there, those uh, match what I'm wearing here tonight. Yeah, they are pretty snazzy, aren't they? Although the suspenders are... Uh... Oh, look at this! Wouldn't you co-sign those suspenders there, but... Uh... It's like Stevens and CPA on the same page. Well, they may be teaming up even though it is every man for themselves in this five-star match. Absolutely. And look at this guy. And final competitor from Plainview, New York, weighing the city at 205 pounds. He is the hottest and youngest free agent in wrestling today, Maxwell Jacob Feinstein. And you, alert, you alluded to it earlier, Wesley. There is Feinstein. He's also a part of this match. Absolutely. Uh, Mr. Feinstein making his presence here. Impressive looking individual. Absolutely. Well, we'll see how this unfolds here as the fans are well, throwing things in the ring there. Throwing streamers in the ring. There's Stevenson helping with the cleanup effort. 
Well, he's a nice guy. Why not? And gentlemen, could this be a match? Uh, we love these new guys in fighting spirit wrestling. Could this be a match where thinning the herd uh, is what's going on? We want to see who the toughest of these newcomers is, perhaps. I don't know exactly. Your thoughts? That's a great point, Wesley. I could see that. The winner may stay on and the rest will just shuttle off somewhere. But all of these men had quite a great showing last month. That's why they're back here tonight. Of course, everybody wants to be a part of FSW. And there's the opening bell for this contest. And right now we have in the ring CPA and Feinstein. Absolutely. Here's Feinstein in the ring with CPA. Stevenson and, uh, out there. He's pat, pat his partner, CPA, on the back. I'd say he almost tagged himself in. Well, we don't know what's going on. Could this part be a thing of the herd march here? Under the new direction of Mr. Stockpole. The Stockpole era is upon us, ladies and gentlemen. And, and we have this five-star march here. That's right. And I also want to make a correction from last time. We were told that these men were from the PWS syndicate, but they're actually from Wrestle One. Absolutely. Well, right now, Feinstein charges in. He misses. CPA trips him up, looking for the quick win, but Feinstein able to kick out. That Absolutely. would have been an upset. Well, who would you gentlemen favor in this match? Who do you think is the favorite to win here? Well, I've only seen Mr. Silver uh, really assert his dominance. I've seen these other fellows, uh, though Mr. Bronson seems uh, quite a formidable character. Mr. Steranko. You're a betting man. Where's That's your right. money in this match here? My money's on Mr. Bronson. Once he steps inside that ring, he's taking up half of it. No one's going to topple him. Uh, he got a good name there, Mr. Bronson. His first name I don't really care for, Joe. Pretty stupid name. I but, say. Well, stupid or not, he is an intimidating presence. Well, I, I'd actually say that I think one tough nerd's going to pull it off. I think he's going to pull the upset win here tonight. This nerd is backing up into a wall right now. And here's Mr. Bronson uh, looming, looming over CPA, not really aware. And he uh, fakes with a right hand there. And uh, he's cowering there, but there's the right hand. Mr. Bronson unleashing a barrage of punches there. And CPA in the corner at this point looking quite helpless against this monster in the ring. Yeah, cowering did not work for Mr. CPA. And there's the power of Bronson, big body slam, sending the CPA down. Utterly tools to me, saw that body slam there. Stevenson joins him on the floor. And the nerd here, I wonder if his glasses get broken after these marches. I know mine used to get broken when people used to mess with the balls, as it were, in uh, well, I don't know. school in England now. I think maybe he ties his glasses on extra tight to protect them. But John Silver, number one, he calls himself in the ring. I mean, that's a pretty good nickname. I wouldn't say it's as good as the ace, but it's pretty similar. Anyway, he takes down Bronson. And John Silver, a very powerful man, looking to suplex the big man Bronson right now. Oh, up and over, sending Bronson down. Unbelievable. Lots of power, lots of tenacity from him. He got Maxwell in the match there. He got Silver in the match there. I think they're trying to take from my countrymen, the Beatles, Maxwell Silver Hammer, as it were. Next thing you know, one of these guys will be calling themselves the Hammer. As we all know, England is the most uh, influential country in the world, ladies and gentlemen. Not to toot my own horn there, but none of you would be in this country had it not been for England. You're doing, pretty, you're doing a pretty good job tooting that horn. Yeah, I would disagree. We're in the good old U.S. of A, Wesley, the greatest country in the world. Well, that's it. Silver just gave him a hell of a European uppercut there before tossing him across the ring. Beautiful European uppercut, the only kind to employ in a march there. Well, regardless of what country you're from, here is Joe Bronson choking away wow. and tossing John Silver overhead. Showing the powers, Joe Bronson there. But there's the CPA. That. CPA being caught in the arms of Bronson. Absolutely. And here's the man with the missile drop kick off the top rope there. Ah, Bloody thrashing CPA in the back. And Joe, uh, Joe Bronson now oh, look at falling that. to his back. I mean, yeah. those are schoolyard tactics right there. Well, the nerd goes off and he lands right on Bronson. But now he's in there with the CPA. Two nerds, as as it were, 
jumping up and down. I don't know what they're doing. But Feinstein just takes them both out. I see there. Clearly lines are drawn in the smarts. There's clearly alliances going on here. Yeah, oh. that's very true, Wesley. I don't think I don't think Feinstein's got any friends in there. Well, there shouldn't be any friends in this match. Feinstein with his knee properly in the neck and face area of the CPA there. And Mr. Feinstein showing all as it were, trying to get the, uh, the crowd involved here. But I don't think anyone cares for him. No, I don't either. Feinstein's mocking the crowd love for CPA. I think perhaps his girlfriend is saying it, but that's it. I don't hear anyone else saying CPA. Or maybe his boyfriend. Oh, oh Mr. Bronson there. Outside the ring, lurking about, and the auction ensues in the center of the ring as Mr. Feinstein properly body slams CPA. And oh, and, oh, and I think Feinstein needs to pay attention. He's about to get rolled up. Oh, instead he drives a fist right into the face of the CPA. Yeah. What's going on? The nerd uh, lurking about the apron, and he's properly blocked off there. Mr. Feinstein trying to set his dominance in the center of the ring. Here the right hands there. And CPA is absolutely in trouble here. I say, CPA is out of his element with Feinstein in there. Well, Feinstein's a one-man show in there right now, taking it to all his opponents. And he pulls the tie off of the CPA. Well, Mr. Steranko, you're saying that CPA is clearly out of his league now, as it were. That's right. If Feinstein is smart, yeah, that's right. I was going to suggest. And uh, uh, here's Mr. Bronson. Choke out the CPA. Oh. As he employed the foreign object, ladies and gentlemen, though the object came off of his opponent, he used it to strangle him there. You know, I wouldn't refer to it as foreign object. You might want to be politically correct and call it an undocumented object. Oh, but look at this. Bronson sneaking up behind Feinstein, and now he's trying to choke him out. And, and there's the nerd. And the nerd the is nerd, back ladies in. Ladies and gentlemen, the nerd is trying to set his own power here. You know, he's the angriest wrestler you've ever heard. He is one tough nerd, and now Silver in there trying to stun every one of them. Absolutely. Mr. Silver taking advantage. Everyone feeling the effects of that stunner. Yeah, it should be for Stone Cold. And ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, quite an interesting match up here. Relatively newcomers to fighting spirit wrestling, brushing about the ring. Mr. Silver taking advantage here. And he bloody tore CPA into the corner. Now we have a go at Mr. Feinstein and wow. tore Feinstein. And here's the power on display that we talked about last time. Yeah. Silver showing us how it's done. And John bloody Silver. Through Joe Bronson there. Unbelievable power by Mr. Silver. He's incredibly strong, able to toss around his opponents like rag dolls. And right now, he's getting set. Right now, he's wasting time giving his fans smiles on their faces. Should be out there taking care of business. Oh, John Silver oh, over the next. top rope on his opponents. What a move. Perfectly next. executed. You see the technical ability on display. That was lightning quick right there, boys. And if anyone's going to make a point here, ladies and gentlemen, for this faction of individuals coming into Fighting Spirit Wrestling, it has to be Mr. Silver at this point. Hey, absolutely must be Mr. Silver. CPA got his tie back, and he's the only man standing in the ring. CPA getting fired up. Not only did he get his tie back, he put it on properly. I don't know exactly how well he could do that so quickly as he... Well, very uh, unique offense by the CPA taking out his opponent. He knows his own strength. And he does have some good fashion sense. And the auction is sitting outside the ring here. He tosses Mr. Feinstein into the ring. And uh, there, this has been a five star match. Lots of auction happening Whoa. outside the ring. And there's a proper smack to the face there. That's just an insult. Feinstein uh -oh. getting cracked in the face by the CPA. There's a, look like a jawbreaker. Absolutely. Bloody thrust from outside of the ring. Here's CPA. Joe Bronson in the ring here. Bronson with a fireman's carry to the CPA rolls through with a roll through senton and now look at the nerd up there one tough nerd taking Bronson out with a DDT from the second rope only a two count though yeah. Bronson showing too much power unbelievable and the nerd, nerd showing uh, he's quite crafty in the ring waiting for his uh, quite uh, good moment to strike there the nerd is fired up. And he'll have a go here at Joe Bronson. 
And Terry Bronson got him up. Oh, oh that's, no! That's how you extinguish that fire. Unbelievable. And Mr. Drops Bronson. the nerd right on his head. Only a two oh. count. How did the nerd kick out of that? Yeah, I'll give you credit for that one. Absolutely. Mr. Bronson asserting dominance there. Bloody thrust the nerd there. And this nerd is in pain in the corner. But Mr. Silver, or rather, uh, there he is, ladies and gentlemen, starting to have a go here at Mr. Bronson and bloody thrashing him with right hands. Yeah. Uh, we've got a Arturo Gotti uh, type combination coming here. And Lots all, of clothesline. All those shots, and it didn't compare to that one huge clothesline by Bronson. Now he's setting Silver up. Silver able to escape, goes behind, and there's a deadlift German suplex. There's a pen. Only a two count, you see the power on display of this gentleman, ladies and gentlemen. This man, clearly a brutally strong individual in the ring. Feinstein's too hungry, too smart to let that happen. And where has Mr. Feinstein been this entire time? I just see him uh, reappearing in the ring here. Well, I think he was recovering on the outside, trying to pick his spot. And right now, Silver taking it to him. A series of strikes. Oh, and there's a spear. Feinstein, only a two count, Bronson breaks it up. Yeah, Absolutely. normally, if it was just a one-on-one -on -one match, it would have been over there. Oh, there's a huge spinning lariat by Bronson. The nerd trying to crawl back in the ring. Now he's got him in a fireman's carry. That's the word, crawl. And the CPA as well, look at the power of Bronson. Oh, no, no, he's got no. both men up on his shoulders. He's I don't know exactly what that is there. CPA trying to help his boy out. Didn't work out. No, not at all. And there's... Again, the power of Mr. Silver on display. Man. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. German suplex to two men at once. Unbelievable. And just drives a big boot into the back of the skull of Feinstein. Up to the... Spins him down. Only a two count though, John Silver not able to get the job done. As impressive as Silver was there, it's just as impressive for Feinstein to kick out. Absolutely, Mr. Feinstein showing the resilience here. And Mr. Silver looking like he wants to go to the top rope here. What, what does he have in uh, mind here? Bronson stopping that in action. Uh, oh. Oh, Mr. Bronson has other plans here. Bronson. He really flashed him off the top rope and he'll find himself on the side of the ring. Yeah, Bronson crotching John Silver and just tossing him out. And now the nerd and the CPA double teaming Bronson. But look at Feinstein, knocks these two into each other. Okay, Feinstein, oh, there's a tiger driver and a three that's count, it. that's Ladies it. Ladies and gentlemen, Feinstein getting the win in this five-star match. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, Mr. Feinstein bided his time. But for moments, I did not see him anywhere around the ring. He was lurking about somewhere, hiding about. He employed this strategy. But when you do five-star matches, this is where you must approach to come out the winner. You can't fight everybody the entire time. Would you agree, gentlemen? My team putting up a five-star performance in this five-star match. Well, I would agree. Feinstein with a smart strategy, able to get the win over these competitors.